Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. If I don't want to have the login screen at all, I want to save that, then I need to work with a certificate. I'm going to first create a folder on my hard drive, just call it cert, C cert here. So I've already done that. And then I'm going to save my certificate there. And the way to create a new certificate is to use the new PNP Azure certificate command there. And that takes a few parameters. It takes the common name. I'm just going to do KPNP for that one. Then I'm just going to say, where's the PFX file going to be created? So out PFX. And that's going to be just C colon search and KPNP PFX. That's the PFX file. Then it's going to also create a certificate file. So that's going to be an out search. And that's going to be the same path there. C colon there. Search KPNP dot sir. And that's it. So now you create the certificate. I'm just going to run that now. So there's my certificate with all the details there. And here it is, the cert file and the PFX file. Okay, so all is there. Good. Next step now is I'm going to create an application here in Entra. EntraMicrosoft.com. New registration. I'm just going to call it KPNP and uh, register that application using this single tenant. Then I'm going to give it permissions to uh, use SharePoint. And you can fine grain this a lot. I'm just going to give it application permissions, but I'm going to give it site manage all. So this is, of course, for admin use. And yeah, there are serious security concerns giving this account out and sharing that certificate and all that. I'm just going to skip part over that. I'm sure you're aware of the security ramifications of this. I'm just showing you how to do it now. So the grant consent for Contoso in this case. There we go. Now I'm granting that consent. Right. So now I've given this application the permissions to use SharePoint. Next, I'm going to install that the certificate that I just created. Remember, I'm going to upload the certificate, the cert right there. Add. And that's it. Now it's in the, at the entry. Now I need to make sure that that certificate is also on my computer. So I'm going to import that certificate. The easiest way to do that is, of course, to just import this PFX file here. So I'm just going to install PFX, current user. That's good. I'm not giving a password here. That's a good idea. But for ease of use, without a password is simpler. I uh, can mark that as, as exportable too. Automatically select. Now that certificate is in my computer. So now I should be able to connect. And the important part here is that we need to also get the thumbprint. Here's the thumbprint of that certificate. So let's do it again. So we can just change this code that we have up there because it's almost the same. We have the client ID and now we're taking away the interactive and instead doing thumbprint and just pasting all of that there. And actually it's another client ID, of course. It's the this client ID that we're going to be using now on the overview here. This is the client ID that we're going to be using. So let's do that. There we go. So first, let's make sure that we are disconnected first. So let's disconnect. Disconnect. Connect. PNP online. I'm just going to run that there. Now we're disconnected. So if I do a death, get PNP list now then I'm not connected. Okay, good. So we have that. So let, now let's connect with the new code here with the client ID, the new client ID and the thumbprint of the certificate that I've installed. Sorry, I forgot one part. It's the tenant. And we need to apply that off also, of course, and that's the same here. So this is the part that's the tenant. So let's do that. And there we're connected. So let's supply that parameter also on the code there. It's becoming a long bit there. But so now if I run that again, I can do the disconnect first, just to show you not connected. Great. And now we connect again. And let's see, get PNP list. Let's do that one. And there I'm connected. As you see, using the certificate and the thumbprint and the tenant, of course, is very fast and there's no login and that works beautifully. Thank you for watching this demonstration.